Hey everyone, welcome to PJ Analytics. In this video, we will understand how to show last three months, six months, or nine months of data in Tableau. So let's understand what we want to achieve here. I have already created one view where in the right-hand side, we can see there are three options. If I select last three months, this view will show last three months of data. If I select six months, it will show you last six months of data. If I select nine months, now it will show you last nine months of data. So this will change dynamically based on the selection. Let's understand how to implement. First, we have to understand what data we have. So we have data from 2014 till 17. If I convert to exact date, So we can see we have data till 30 December 2017. So first calculation is to get the last date. From the data source, we have to get the last date. So max of order date. Now I have put it into the curly braces so that the, so that the last date will be fixed. If I drag it, you will notice it is showing 30 December 2017. So now this calculation is fixed. So then we'll create a view using order date and sales. Convert this order date to month because we have to show the data month wise. So by default, we will get all four years of data. Now we'll create one parameter select duration data type will be string and we can select or we can give it a name select month and here we will add last three month last six month the value that you can keep whatever you want to show in the drop down and last nine month show this parameter now right now we have created the parameter so parameter alone will not work we have to use it somewhere in the sheet so we will create a calculations. If select month is equal to last three months, then order date should be less than equal to last date. So last date calculation we have already written. That will return the last date from the data source. And order date should be greater than equal to now here we have to pick the first date so we can see we have data till december so when we show last three months we have to show the data from first october 2017 till last date of december 2017 so now to get the first date we have to use the date trunk function so here we will use first date trunk month comma last date now if you are not aware about the functional functionality of date trunk this function will return the first date of current date part now the date part is month and date from this date we are getting 30 december 2017 so based on the date it will return the first date of that month so this calculation, this part will return 1st December 2017. Now we are getting the 1st December, but we have to show the data from 1st October. Now on top of this, we will use date add function. Date add, date part will be month comma minus two. Now why minus two? 
when I mention one, it will add one month. So adding one month in 1st December 2017, it will return 1st Jan 2018 when we add plus one. Now, when we add minus one, it will return the, or it will subtract one month. Now, when we mention minus two, it will subtract two month. So in 1st December 2017, when we subtract two month, it will return 1st October 2017. So your order date should be greater than equal to 1st October 2017 and less than equal to the last date. Let's see what data we will get. Okay, parenthesis is missing. All right, here it is missing. Now the calculation is valid. I'll put this calculation into the filter shell. Select, first we'll select the last three months. Now this calculation will be true and false. So we have to select only true. Now we can see when I select last three months, it is showing last three months of data. Now same thing we have to do for last six months and nine months. I will add an, an, another condition, else if select month is equal to last six month, then same calculation, order date should be less than equal to the last date and order date should be greater than or equal to minus five. Now, when we do minus five, it will subtract minus five month from 1st December 2017. Click OK. Now, if I select six month, it is showing last six months of data. Now, if I select last nine month, it is blank because we are not handling this condition. So we have to add another condition here. I just copy and paste instead of last six, last nine month. And here we will mention eight. So when I select last nine month, it will show you last nine months of data. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.